Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you. So you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Hello, I am Andy Smith, 31-year veteran of the comic book industry, working for DC, Marvel, CrossGen, you name it. I've probably worked for them, and I've worked for Disney, Athletic Comics, Chicago Bears, Oh, the Idaho Potato Commission. You're like, what's that? Click the link to see on my website. The link is below and you'll see the work I did for the Idaho Potato Commission. Anyhow, we are doing a book look today of a different book. It's not a how to draw book. It's a comic book called Solar Lord. I believe this is a Korean comic. Image actually published issues one through six of this. They had it translated, but I was able to find this copy uh, that came out, and I believe this is Korean. You can correct me if I'm wrong, if it's Japanese. I, I'll be the first to admit, I really don't know. Uh, this is the actual cover. I think that's the back cover. Um, I believe this is how we're supposed to read it. You know, because they read... Uh, they read what we would be considered, or what we consider as backwards, and then they go uh, right to left. So we'll look through the book this way. Solar Lord is by Ku Fuk, F-U-K, Lung, Ku Fuk Lung. And <clears throat> the thing I like about it is he's a freaking superhero. You don't see a lot of superheroes in uh, manga and stuff like that. And I don't know if this is considered manga I'm just going to go with that. Once again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but like I said, Image did do one through six, so I could actually read them. I love this guy's art style. I love the costume design of this character, Solar Lord. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, there's so much energy behind uh, these comics and this art form. Uh <clears throat> Excuse me. I love how on one page they'll do what looks like uh, digital coloring and then they'll go, you know what? This panel's just going to be grayscale. Who cares? I love the cross hatching and rendering they do. I love the stylization that they have over there. All the artists have uh, when it comes to the faces and such. But there's just so much power with the special effects stuff that they do. Um, I haven't read Solar Lord 1 through 6 in a very long time, so forgive me. I don't know the details besides the fact, to me, he's a kick-butt-looking superhero. Uh, I assume he's a superhero. Once again, I look at this stuff here. This is stuff I always say, I need to incorporate more of this into my own work. And I really do, because I just love uh, the energy behind this stuff. And this, you know, I haven't looked at tons of artists from, from Asia, but uh, the few I have looked at, this is definitely, uh, he's one of my favorites. For sure. God, I hope I'm reading this the right way. I'm pretty sure I am. You know, very cool. Uh, you know, not much for background yet because it's a lot of special effects stuff. 
I almost wish I could read this just to see what they're saying, because this is not one of the comics that's reprinted one through six. Um, so this says issue 14. I love this more painterly look here. I wish that was bigger to really be able to see the costume better. This dude looks pretty tough. They get some nice cartooniness in with the faces as well. Look at this general or whoever he is. Tough and badass. Love the detail in this foliage here, this cross hatching back here. And I just love how they go from some panels, like I said, will be black and white. Some are inked and colored. And then some are just like, you know what? We're going to fully paint this panel. Screw it. Uh, typically, I think I'd find that distracting. But it I don't know. Because the color palette is kind of the same, it's not that distracting to me. That actually has a real Frank Miller vibe right there with the, the spotting of the black and the rendering. Very pretty face here. Love this fine cross hatching. You know, some of the drawing is a little funky, like this angle right here of this dude's head. It's almost a side view when I do this. It's basically, hey, that's a side view of the guy's face. And then I do this. And now it's like, oh, okay, so we're going to see a back three-quarter view. But nope, it's a side view. But together, it's just kind of messed up. But it's just the rendering and stuff. I think that's what it does. It just distracts you from stuff. Maybe. I need to try and find more of these. This dude's very cool. Love that. This would be fun if I could actually read it. I think I'm going to have to go on to uh, eBay and do a search. Love the colors in here. Very cool. This looks like a very cool story. I just, uh, I don't know, because I don't know what's going on. And then, oh yeah, Solar Lord. There he is. And they actually used did make a Solar Lord action figure. I do not have it. This is really cool. I just love the... the the, the line work on that face. Nice panel layouts. Solar Lord's getting kind of pissed. I would, if I could afford it, or if I even knew how to get a hold of this guy, I'd love to see this dude do a take of First Man. I mean, I love these proportions. Be cool to see a first man face. Now, could I draw a first man this style? Yeah, I could. But, I don't know, it's just not the same as having the, the real artist do it. Another fully painted panel. I'd love to know the decision-making process of when they decide, I think I'll make that panel. Uh, fully, fully colored with no ink line. Same with there. Is there no, is there a rhyme or reason or no rhyme or reason, whatever to it? You know, just like this, uh, we'll go all, uh, monochromatic except for the figures, you know, fully painted again. Why, why are you choosing now? And then that's it. And then there's some sketchbook stuff in the back as well. And, uh, I assume this is the artist drawing himself. But uh, there you have it. Solar Lord. And I assume this is the back with the that there. And this, I'm assuming, is the front. Once again, it has the price box and everything. So I think this is Korean. Somebody let me know. This has been your book look. Check out my campaign, First Man Superhero Action Adventure for a New Generation. The only agenda I'm trying to push when you read that story is for you to escape from your normal life and have fun and walk away going, man, that was kick ass, like walking out of a great movie. Thank you again. Link for First Man is in the description below. I am your host with the most. 
I'll check you guys later. Bye-bye. Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.